Hello there everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Mika, I live in Finland and as you can see we still have a little bit of summer here. Today I am going to make an apple. It's an iconic shape with many symbolic values but for me it's just going to be a nice apple to sit on a bookshelf. First of all, I have to wedge my clay. This way I get all the air out and I get the plasticity that I want in my clay. After that, I make it to a round ball and just by using my thumb and the palm of my hand, I start pinching. It's important that you roll the clay, use your thumb to feel how thick the clay is and try to get it even all the way through. I use my thumb to pull the clay against the palm of my hand. Every now and then I put a little bit of water on my finger but don't soak the clay. Remember to rotate all the time. The pinching technique is one of my favorite techniques. And if you want to see more of it, I have a video on how to make a pinching pot. Now this is not going to be a pot. The technique is the same, but uh, this time I'm going to close it and make it to a round ball to begin with. I try to make the walls even in thickness and I rotate it and then when I'm happy with that I start closing the edge. The hole is going to be smaller. Just by rotating it in my hand and then pulling with the other hand, I get the hole smaller and smaller. I could actually close it this way if I want to, but I am going to use a little bit of the same clay and uh, close the hole with that. Okay, so now it's time to close the hole. So, I take a little piece of clay, stick it in the hole, and um, then it's time to roll it against the marble surface. When you shut the air inside, it's much easier after that to start shaping your clay because it will stay in shape. So now back to the basic shape, a round ball. And after that, I have to think about the shape of an apple. I just start by using my fingers. My clay is a little bit wet so I have to actually leave it to dry for a few hours to get the really nice finish to it. But this is just the beginning. After that, I use a tool. This way you can see the shape is even more significant. This could also be an orange, if you think of it. 
There are really, really many things you can do just by using this technique. The most important thing is that if you burn it in a kiln, you have to make a hole in your clay. Otherwise, it will just blow up in the kiln. You need ventilation. Now this is going to be the top of the apple. And I need a leaf and a small twig. But uh, let's make it first. There are of course many other ways to do this. You can make a ball, cut it into half and just uh, by scooping out clay and gluing them together again you can make the same thing. But the pinching technique is really nice. And you can do many other things. For instance, a man in the moon with a rocket and an astronaut on it. Or a small jewelry box with a lid, like this. Same technique. Now back to the apple. So the shape is now more or less done. And I just place the apple aside for a while. And it's time to make the leaf. It's perfect this time of year because I can just pick one from my real apple tree. And then by rolling and rolling the leaf into the clay, I get a perfect leaf. Like this. I start by cutting around the leaf. Then I remove the real leaf and uh, lift the clay. So now I have a perfect leaf. I test it out on the apple, but I need to put some slip underneath. So Remember always to put some slip. This way it will stick really good. So I push gently and uh, place it right where I want it. And now my apple is almost done. Just one more small twig and then I will leave it to dry for a few hours and then some finishing touches. And I of course need to remember the ventilation hole otherwise this will blow up in the can. Now this is one way of making an apple and one way of using the pinching technique. Uh, remember you can do many other things using the technique and um, if you like this video and like my channel please remember to subscribe. So um, thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you again. Bye bye.